Welcome to Chellington 17, episode 4, with me, Mr. Sealy P. I'm having a few issues. Come on to field 6 to plough. And I've been using the jimper, which I'd bought, but it's not registering that I've ploughed. The field saying on soil composition needs ploughing, which I've started to do, and it's not registering. I don't know why. I've been trying under soil composition, I've tried under the growth page, it's not showing as saying harvested, but not ploughed, and I'm ploughing it. I don't, I don't get it. So I went and I've bought the Amazon k -Ron. I'm wondering if there's a, a mod clash between the plough and the map maybe don't know so i thought it just cost me twenty two thousand to buy this um which is kind of into my uh my profits a bit from doing the bailing which is uh annoying unfortunately but i'm gonna give this a go and see how i get on if this registers as having been plowed then it's got to be uh, a mod conflict um yeah don't know it's quite annoying. If you watched any of my uh, Let's Play on Goldcrest Valley, I don't like ploughing. I'm not particularly good at it. I'm not with these ploughs. The Jimper ploughs are nice, I like them. But it's just not registering. I can't, can't get mid round it. doing something wrong I don't understand what the fact I'm prepared to plough and plough a massive field like this and then to be kind of stopped dead in my tracks uh, I don't understand this then because this one's not registering either what is going on There has to be a reason. Doing something wrong with the settings or... Okay, what is happening now? Now it's showing it is, but not the whole strip. I d so it's only registering if I plough this direction. <sighs> okay, I don't know. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, okay, so... The Big deep breaths. <sighs> hmm. Okay. So it could be the jimper. It could be. But then it didn't register the K-Ron going the other direction. But it's registered it going this direction. I can't plow an entire field this size, just one way. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Hmm. I will get to the bottom of this. Some have I set the allow fields create field sync? Oh. At the moment I don't really care. Another quick check. Oh, come on. What is going on? <laughs> uh, I just think I might just cry. Uh, I don't understand. I'm trying to wrap my brains. What have I done wrong? What am I doing wrong? I 
this is becoming an absolute nightmare. Um, I've just disconnected again from the jimper plow. I started with the jimper, it wasn't working. Had to then go and buy another one, so I went and got not another jimper, but I got the Amazon uh, K run, I think it is. Um, so look at the map. I went over some of the bits of the K run down here. And strange enough, the bits I'd done with the jimper, it kind of filled them in. So it showed that it had been ploughed. So I put jimper back on. I did from here a direct line straight up. I then came to here and did a direct line straight down. I then did a line from here with the plough directly across to give myself a rectangle. And none of them have shown up as ploughed yet on the field very clearly you can see I've ploughed them so I'm assuming there is a problem between the modded map and the modded plough the fact that for some reason it's not registering the jimper properly uh, it's the only thing I can think of um, so I'm going to put this back on and I'm going to try again and see if it makes any difference if it doesn't it could be a problem with the ploughing and the modded map generally I honestly don't know. I'm, I'm clutching at straws now. It's a bit frustrating. Um, so we'll see how we get on this time. So I'm just going to plough over what I've just done. Actually, no. Mm. The problem is it could pop up because I've done that. I, don't, I really don't know what to do for the best. I will actually go over what I've done. Just double check on the map, make sure it's not there. Not registering. Okay. Drop that down. Let's go again, shall we? So pretty much following the same line, maybe a little bit over. Because um, I think this plough is a tiny bit narrower. I'm not sure. But anyway. And if this now registers as being ploughed, it's got to be a problem with the plough. The two mods not working together properly. But it's one of those things. Um, if it doesn't work, I don't know what I'm going to do. It's not allowing me to plough properly. Plowing takes time anyway, and if you spend a lot of time doing it and it doesn't register you've done it, that's a bit frustrating, I'll be honest. Um, yeah. So I'll stop there. Lift it up. And go again this way. see what we end up with I don't check it now because I'm really <laughs> really worried I'll be doing it and I'm completely wasting my time as you can see I've had to spend well, this one cost 22 grand so we'll see if this one works but the jimper's not I'll just sell the jimper back it's one of those things I'm going to grass some bits on this field some strips because I'm going to partition the field up making smaller fields I can do various different crops in uh, maybe two or three different fields I'm not sure I might have a big rectangle in the middle and the ones around the side that are odd shapes I might stick like potatoes in one and uh, you know do various different crops that I need so moment of truth then <laughs> I don't want to look on the map don't want to look it's not registering at all I don't get this I really don't get it. Why is it not? No, it's not showing as ploughed at all. I don't understand. Hmm, that's really frustrating. It just seems pointless wasting all this time doing it. It's not even in a register as being ploughed. Which means if the if the crop system is working the same as it has done on Goldcrest Valley, you're never gonna get maximum yield if you can't plough. Unless that's not a uh, not function that's available. Maybe it's turned off. Um 
and you just, it almost goes back to the farming similar to 15 kind of version I don't know it seems weird that it's showing it in the colours and all the rest of it and the bottom half of the map has managed to do it but the, the rest hasn't I'm in a state of extreme bafflement at the moment. Hmm. I did think maybe it was just a delayed reaction thing, maybe just needs time for the map to catch up. But it really isn't showing anything. It's not showing as ploughed at all. Like so this bottom section has, which I don't understand. But all that I've just done here, nothing. Hmm. Yep. Don't know what to do for the best. I'll just take another strip in here and see if it registers. Let's turn the plow. Right, let's drop that down. Let's go across this way. It can't, surely you can't only plough it from one one way. It will only accept you play in one direction and from the bottom up or that just that doesn't seem to make any sense. Don't know if anyone's encountering the same problem. Um Cause I must admit I did think, yeah, it's probably the modded plough, it's it's just obviously what it is, but I'm slightly stumped. Let's check it again. Now it's registered. Oh, that doesn't make sense. So it's registered from here. There's a strip. But from here, it hasn't. So. And what I don't get as well, if you look on the growth on the right hand side. If I go down to all these, take off cultivated, growing, ready to harvest, harvested. And there it's showing. <laughs> what is going on? So that's showing that it has. Is it just because all the all the different things on? Is that what it is? Hmm, let's go, oh, idiot. Let's go up. Soil composition. But it still shows needs ploughing. I don't... Still says needs ploughing on that one. If I go to growth, it shows us ploughed. So why is it saying needs ploughing, but now... Uh. So is that other plough working or not? I don't want to spend God knows how long it's going to take me to plough this entire field just to find that it's not registering it as ploughed. Let's zoom out on this map. Hmm. So they're all showing as ploughed. If I take that off. Cultivated one, growing none. Ready to harvest two. Harvested just the one I've done. Plowed with some rooftops none. Withered none because that's turned off, so it shouldn't be any uh, withered. Plowed. Now they're all showing as ploughed, yet if you go across to this screen, soil composition, they all need ploughing. I couldn't be more confused. I don't want to just ignore that screen and focus on this one. Oh, why just this set wrong? Hang on. Periodic. Plowing required on fertilizer states three.
baffled. Right. Lift this up. I'm going to look at the other one now. And I'm going to do a separate line somewhere else with the other plough. Somewhere really random that's going to be obvious that this this plough. If I'd have actually come at the plough even slightly straight would have helped, wouldn't it? Right. Let's stick a line in. Just, I don't know, at an angle here. Drop that down. Do something a bit peculiar. I know if you are into your ploughing, and ploughing should be done in straight lines, I totally agree. Right, lift that plough. Screen. It's registering as ploughed. What is going on? So I just spent 22 grand on a plough I don't need. Fantastic. <sighs> okay, um, <laughs> I'm going to carry on with the jimper. I'm going to leave the Amazon sitting there for a little while. Um, I'm not sure what will I get if I sell it. Let's go to here. There we go, the Amazon K Ron. 16,000, and it cost me. Actually, what did it cost me? It cost me 30, didn't it? Oh, God, that's terrible. 22. Okay, so I'll lose six grand on it so I've lost six grand not the end of the world I suppose I suppose uh. right so another strip next to this I think No, it didn't want a, a, a worker. Lower cultivator. I'm going to do it myself, thank you. Okay, let's plough this in. Right, I'm going to carry on for a little bit and see how I get on. Right, according to the map, the ploughing appears to be working. I don't, you know, I don't know. Uh, the soil composition page seems to be a little bit off. What I'm doing now, I've gone around the outside to make the rectangle. Um, done a double strip. Now I'm bifurcating the field. Straight up the middle. Um, as you will see momentarily. Just turn off the worker and look back at the map. So what I've done is stuck a strip straight up the middle. I'm going to stick another one in down the back down so it's a double strip. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to grass with the cedar up here, right to the end. I'm going to do a grass strip across here, grass strip down here, grass strip across here, and one up the middle. So technically, this one field, six, will be a field here, a section here, one here, one here, Small one to the side and one at the bottom. That's the theory. So then I've got two big fields to put in large crops in, something like corn, soybean. Smaller one, maybe for potatoes, sugar beet, maybe down the bottom, maybe at the top. This one, maybe for this one here, maybe for something else. Because these are all massive fields compared to the ones on Goldcrest Valley. 
you know, to get a field this side and size and goals, Chris, goal, Chris Valley, you were looking at seven, eight hundred thousand easily. We've got quite a few on this already. If you look at, you know, tens a fair size, eighteens mainly grass, but this one down fifteen is colossal, and so seventeen. So we've got plenty of fields that we own already. I mean, one's a fair size field, and that's a small one. So um, I'm kind of just making use of the space I've got at the moment and get some crops into the ground. So that's the plan. I'm going to go back down again and then I'm going to seed all around there. Um, once that's done, I'm going to then, I will then plow the individual kind of fields because I'll treat them then in my mind as individual sections of the same field. It seems a bit weird, I know, but it, uh, the, there's method to my madness. It, it will work. Uh, and it means things like potatoes or so, uh, sugar beet. You don't get a lot for buying them or selling them, not buying them. Um, but for things like the, the pigs need them. They don't use a huge amount, but to get maximum productivity, you need some. So I might as well do a small crop of potatoes, hire a harvester, and then um, harvest them. Then I can put them in one of the sheds, and I've got potatoes there for feeding my pigs. I don't need... a massive field for doing potatoes just it's just pointless so i can just use a small section of one of the fields and uh do the same job so that's that's kind of my thinking behind it so i'm gonna stick another strip in now turn this round um and stick another strip in down the side and then like i say once the once it's grassed and my strips are, have been grassed i'll uh i'll then plow the rest of the fields and this plow seems to be working so I may well keep this one and take the Amazon back, sell that. I'm gutted that I bought it in the first place because I've lost six grand on it. But at the end of the day, you live and learn. Uh, and I've said that before when I've done some of my guide twos. It's uh, learn along with Mr. Seal. <laughs> I make the mistakes so you don't have to. And I make a lot of them. So we'll see how we get on. I am back at the store now um, whilst this is all going to come across in one um, video this is a separate I'm full now. this is a separate um, kind of save game um, I came back on so the, where I'm editing is this is a different time of gameplay although it's still going to be in the same episode. So just turn that off and jump out. Now, I'm selling the Amazon. Um, if we go into the map, and I did a, I've done a lot of this going into the map, I'm assuming whatever the problem was has resolved itself because if we go into here now, everything is switched on, as you can see on the left-hand side, and it's showing that it is working. If I go to soil composition, it is now showing on here that it is working and it has been ploughed. If I go to fruit types, again, it's showing on here that it's been ploughed. So something has changed in between me turning it off and turning it back on again, which is fantastic news, which means that the jimper plough is working so I can sell this one back for 20,000 and it cost me 22. So, yeah, I haven't made anywhere near as much of a loss on it as I thought. Because I'm selling it out of the store, you get a kind of a bonus for selling it. So I'm not as bad off as I thought I was going to be, which is fantastic news. So I'm going to start the back up and get back over to the field, field six. Um, I The this, this sections that I have now um, ploughed, I'm going to cultivate and then seed. So I've got my kind of my borders for my fields. That's the next step. Um, it's going to be one of those things that you're not necessarily going to want to watch because it's going to be boring to watch me doing that. But uh, maybe a little bit of the cultivating, maybe a little bit of the seeding, um, and then we'll we'll uh, I might jump ahead actually to letting the grass grow through so that we can kind of see the fields or the field as it needs to be. I don't like skipping time. That's the only problem. But then that said, it is 6.20. By the time I'm done cultivating, by the time I'm done seeding, it may well be time. So uh, I'll get back to that. So I've been to the farm, to the yard, and grabbed the cultivator. Um, and I've got the weight on the front. I don't often use the weight on the front, but 
uh, because all of the weight of the cultivator is on the back I need it so uh, I'm going to cultivate the strips that I've ploughed ready for seeding because I don't think unless this no I don't think the seed that I've got the, I think it's the Great Plains one you start with just have a quick check um, let's have a look yeah the Amazon oh ED 300 C yeah you can sow fields it doesn't say anything about cultivating and it's the Kuhn Cultima L 300 is the cultivator I'm using so it'd be preparing it for the next sowing so if I just lower that down and it should do it all for me there we go I can go right to the edge actually with this so I will do. It's going to take me a couple of runs up and down on each of these to get the cultivated bit that I need, which is fine. Then I'll seed the strips I need. And then once that's grown, I should be able to then plough in between without it causing a problem, I believe. Um, I've never done this before in all honesty, so this is going to be uh, kind of a bit of a learning curve for me as well. And it is cultivating... Oh yeah, it's cultivating the bits this field does need ploughing so go right to the end turn around come back and like I say you don't need you don't need to see me doing all of this it's going to be a bit a bit much I think is probably the best way of putting it do you ever have ever have one of those days where you just feel like you should have stayed in bed uh, this is one of those days I <laughs> nothing seems to be going right you have a plan in your head and think I'm going to do a certain thing so we've gone to pick up the uh, cedar and I thought I'll fill it up, fantastic, no problem. And then I'll crack on with putting some grass on the field. However, this particular cedar, sower, is the wrong type. And I've just realised I'm going the wrong way. Oh, <laughs> see what I mean? It's not going well. Um, if I just check in here, under sewing machines, the one I'm in at the moment, or in, have, is the Amazon ED3000C which does sunflower, soybean, uh, corn or maize uh, and sugar beet which is marvellous but I want to do grass which means I need one of these Great Plains but I'm thinking and it's a massive massive I mean uh, I don't know I'm thinking of going for the Vedastat Rapid A600S it's 52 grand but I'm going to need a cedar and it need and the six meter one which is going to make life a lot easier the least fields are big I am going to need to build up to a much bigger one but you know what I'm going to need a cedar I, I thought about renting but the problem with that is to lease it is 5,000 well I suppose that is an option I th the problem with this map is because the size of it um and the size of the fields and the fact there's no contracting and that kind of thing there's going to be i think it's going to be a lot of leasing I, I can't see how i'm going to make enough money um to actually be able to buy equipment there's going to be a lot of leasing on this one um yeah i don't know interestingly enough today uh i released a, a kind of guide to mod uh video for the new lizard um money cheat mod um <laughs> yeah i'm still a bit yeah. the, the trouble is the temptation when you're struggling on a map to think you know what it won't hurt just get it for a little while you know just 10 grand every hour and that's what it is if you haven't watched the video the new cheat mod money cheat mod and it's actually a mod it's not a cheat cheat well technically it is it's in the mod hub for ps4 i don't know i assume it's for other platforms um you put this little placeable on and uh for a thousand it costs you to buy it gives you ten thousand every hour and here's the interesting thing which i didn't show on the video um is that you can place more than one of them you can place multiple versions of them if you look on my facebook page um i've put uh i'm gonna put a couple of pictures have put a couple of pictures on there depends that by this point when i edit um i went on to a kind of just a, a separate map a kind of test map to have a have a go and i put well loads and loads and loads of them 
it's a weird one for me. I can't get my head around it. I really can't. Um, but there you go. The temptation to use it at the moment, because I'm now thinking I am seriously struggling and I need more machinery. I need bigger plows. I need... is massive, but I don't want to cheat. I don't... I just... It's not who I am. I'm not a cheaty person. However, Moomin Sil, who used to go on FS15 with me, is, and she's considering using them. Outrageous. So, here we are. Actually, I do need to put the uh, thing back on. Uh, if I detach that, I'm going to sell it because when I do come to do things like sunflowers and stuff like that, I want to get a bigger cedar anyway. I will want to get a bigger cedar. So I'm going to sell that for 11,634. So I've got 91,000. So I'm going to whiz back in. And I mean, I've got fields that I can still harvest. Loads of big fields, in all honesty. So I can make some more money back. Um, it's just as it kind of stands at the moment. So I'm going to get the Vedastat Rapid A600S. It's 52,000. I'm going to need it. So at the end of the day, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound, as they say. <sighs> no upgrades oh. but I now own it it only requires 180 horsepower to pull it so the Massey Ferguson has got enough horsepower for doing that I hope still got 39,000 in the bank that's good and at some point I do need to take that trailer back I keep saying that every time I come back over here <laughs> to the shop I think oh yeah I must do that I will do it I really will I promise and it does mean I'll be able to do this seeding I need to to do the grass bits in one pass which is going to make life a huge amount easier ok oh that was close nearly pulled out then oh could have been devastating ok oh, a bit of a wobble on there Back over to the farm we go, and I'm going to need to go and fill this up as well. So, back at the yard, and I'm going to try again. <sighs> now, I need to fill this implement, apparently. Refill sower. How much is this going to cost me? <laughs> I'm just going to crawl into a hole I think and just stay there <sighs> buying the, buying the Vader stat rapid was a brilliant idea apart from the fact it doesn't fertilise <laughs> there's no fertiliser in it oh god and I haven't got a fertiliser spreader <sighs> I think I'm going to be renting a fertiliser spreader uh 2794 seed I hope that does everything I need to or I'm going to have an absolute fit, absolutely wonderful so with the sun starting to set at 7 o'clock <laughs> I'm going to get my first lot of seed in. I don't know how well this is going to last, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to hire a worker only because I want to get a straight line to start off with. And it should be exactly the right width, perfect for what I need. That's absolutely bang on. Brilliant. Uh, so, that's grass going in. I'm thinking I don't need to fertilise the grass, in all honesty. It's not like I'm going to be... I'm not going to be cutting the grass to get any yield off of it so I'm not that bothered uh, about whether or not the grass is fertilised it should still grow um, hopefully and actually it's not using very much at all is it that's good uh, but I'm going to need to get a fertiliser spreader as well at some point then which is jolly helpful but it's working I am actually making some progress. I hope that before this episode I will have actually got somewhere with this. It's a great plan in theory, just not really working particularly well in practice at the moment. It's 
spin this round and get it ready for this next strip here I haven't even thought to check the map for a while um, to make sure it's actually doing what it should be doing okay it's that time of night worker puts the lights on we're back it's morning the grass I seeded, sowed, whatever you call it has grown so I have got my field boundaries which is marvellous he says here's my next problem it's not working ploughing or cultivating I've just set ploughing off turned it off because it's doing my head in at the moment and uh, I'll explain why um, if for example you set a worker to cultivate or plough when it gets to the edge of the field it recognises the edge of the field as a field boundary for example if I set the worker now to cultivate it will cultivate down to the field edge recognises the field edge and it will stop there lift the cultivator turn around although yeah, there's no... Uh, He says, okay, but anyway, you get the picture. It will recognise the field edge. Now when it goes up here and it gets to the new field edge that I've laid, it doesn't recognise it as a field edge. It just cultivates straight through. <sighs> Which is done with the ploughing as well. So I've put all these fantastic field boundaries in to separate my field into separate fields except if I set a worker to do any jobs on it it doesn't recognise the fact that these are now boundaries it just sees the whole thing as one big field so if I set it here to cultivate it will cultivate straight through that strip in the middle because it doesn't see it as a boundary or an edge it just cultivates straight across the whole thing which means that everything I did was a complete and total waste of time. Now, you may have been watching this thinking, well, yeah, we knew that already. I didn't. I did this a lot on 15. And if you put in new kind of field edges and borders and things like that, it, the, the workers would recognise them. I don't, I don't know. I'm incredibly frustrated now which means I've got to plough and cultivate the entire field which is going to take a catastrophically long amount of time if I put it on the field edge here at a diagonal, I don't know if it'll do it straight through nothing, it's just not registering at all then it'll turn itself around and it'll carry on and just ripped through everything I did so yeah it was a massive waste of time uh, like I said live and learn um, I, I just I can't get me around it um, anyway yeah so there we go all good fun complete waste of my time don't know why it's stopping there but anyway <sighs> that unfortunately is the end of this episode uh, I'm going to have a rethink I'm going to regroup I'm going to try and work out what the hell I'm going to do now uh, incredibly frustrated incredibly annoyed it, the whole thing's just been a massive waste of time it's just yeah cutting through the whole lot doesn't matter if I do it set a worker on it it's just it's not registering that it's, there's anything even there um, like I say, I don't know whether I'll just imagine that for 15. I'm sure I set boundaries for fields before. Uh, but anyway, that's how it stands at the moment. Massive rethink on this map. I love the map. I think the map's brilliant. The only downside is the fields are just so colossal that with the equipment you start with, it's so small, it's going to take... Oh, God knows how long it's going to take to prepare and reseed a field uh, like I say especially the fact I've turned off the periodic ploughing required 
fertilizer states i've still got set on three but i might even set that on one uh, i'm not quite sure what to do at the moment um as you can probably tell by my voice i'm a little bit disheartened um anyway hope you've enjoyed the episode i hope you've learned something i hope uh yeah if you know a way of doing it that i'm missing that something that's obvious i've got a setting set wrong uh please let me know i would <laughs> it would really really help if you don't then don't worry about it <laughs> Anyway, if you like the episode, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share the video, please be my guest. Even if it's just to share it to say to people, this is not, this is what not to do. Uh, anyway, as always, at the end of my videos, um, it is greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.